how many of you are already being blessed talk to me in the comments i already being blessed these three days are you able to see how the lord is growing you are you able to understand that god is calling you on a journey this is not the work of man this is the work of god he is pulling you and drawing you because remember i told you we don't do anything in our ministry by just because we have to do it i don't have to do this it was god who led me and i told my wife i said i feel like god is trying to push people into their destiny push them so that they can not miss this train can you type i'm not going to miss this revival train i am going to be that extension i am going to be that person who ushers in who becomes an extension of the arm of god in my city in my place in my family in my generation yes you know yesterday god gave us a beautiful word how many of you are you aware that uh, you know what we are trying to do is every day by the end by maximum the next we are trying to post the video so in case you or your friends have not got it uh, you can always refer to it but even though you're on this call i would recommend you go on that video hear it again because there are some things you have to hear again to receive in your spirit leave a comment be intentional <laughs> You know I look at everybody's comment who writes and I pray for you. So be intentional that is a one thing the church needs to really understand. Be intentional in your walk with God because that is what is going to grow you. Amen. Father, I thank you Lord for your children. I thank you that they are here and they are getting blessed every day because you are feeding them, Lord. Daddy, we love you. Lord we love you I'm running after you I'm running after you It's you alone I love sweet Jesus I'm running after you I'm running after you I'm running after you My Lord Jesus It's you alone I seek It's you alone I seek Sing with me It's you alone I seek My Lord Jesus Taram pam pa taram pam pa taram pam pa ra ra I love you Lord with all my heart and all my soul today. I love you Lord with all my heart and all my soul today. The Lord is saying to somebody here, yeah, don't fear my dear. Don't fear. You may have been put down, but it is the Lord who's going to raise you up. Watch and learn. Watch and learn. This word is coming to you expressly by God to let you know that you're not alone. Remember yesterday's word was so beautiful. You got an advocate in heaven sitting at the right hand of God who is speaking on your behalf and interceding for you. And he is able to completely save those who come through him. Is anybody come through anybody else here? <laughs> Just checking. All have come through Jesus. That means you shall be completely saved. Celebrate that. If you got God in heaven, not your pastor, God in heaven praying for you. Ah. On earth you got the Holy Spirit inside of you. 1 Corinthians 3:16. God dwells in your temple. And all around you you got angels of God ministering to you. Ah, Hebrews. <laughs> Find that verse that angels are the heirs ministers to the heirs of salvation. So you got in heaven God on earth the Holy Spirit inside of you sealed and you got angels all around you. Hey, come on, tell yourself this season we are not going to lose a single battle. We are going to win. Amen. Let me hear your amens loud. Type it, type it. This year, this season, this year you're going to enter your promised land. No more crying. 
no more pity parties no more saying lord pray f- help me raise up 10 people to pray for you no you are going to win because you got god interceding for you tell the devil back off my days of winning are here amen i want you to look at psalm 53 before we go into the word i'm amazed how god is doing this every day god is giving me a hand picked word to lead his people into this 40 days where you are going to have a birthing remember the series is the birthing that means the angel of the lord comes and for those of you who don't know what i'm talking about please go and hear the last 3 days you'll understand the connection amen for those of you who know what i'm talking about shout amen you're going to the, the angel of the lord comes gives a word our obedience to the word produce conception and conception gives birthing amen so every instruction that i bring to you please know i am not sitting and writing this down i hear god god gives me a word i write it down and he says only tell them this today that's why we are making it short not a long word look at psalms 532 god looks down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there's anyone who understands who seeks god Can you imagine God is looking down from heaven to see who is singing the best praying the best worshiping the best understands see I will be that person in this gener- generation who represents God accurately how many of you have been hurt the lord is telling me some of you have been hurt because somebody misrepresented you right how many of you felt bad when that happened somebody misrepresented you said something about you that it is not true and uh, how many of us know how we go to prove ourselves you get angry or no huh all saints on this call ah i can tell you in your spirit right now you know one person says something you send 10 messages on whatsapp to everybody to tell them no no this is what i did do you know god is searching for such a man who can represent him correctly to this generation would you be that person will you be a person who can understand not just read understand why god does things what is his purpose what is his plan why am i called why did he select me above all the people of the earth if you can be that person and god looks down and he says hey there's that child she understands me she knows that even though she has no platform nothing she posts a message and nobody even likes it they all put thumbs down for you but she has understanding that she still stands and worships me because she knows i am the one to raise her up i am the one to bless her i i love that child because she represents me when everybody is talking evil and saying that good is evil she stands up she gets hit for everything but she stands up and says no i serve a good god <laughs> God is good full stop. Can you say God is good full stop? If anything bad has happened to you, it's not God. If everything good is anything good has happened, it's God. Today I want to take you to a very important scripture. Can you read Psalms 105? Today this is the word that God has given us. Are you excited for the word that is coming? Ah, I love you Jesus. Mazakataya 105 105 verse you can start reading from verse 15 Okay Psalm 105 verse 15 says saying do not touch my anointed ones who my prophets no harm moreover he called for a famine in the land he destroyed all the provision of bread he sent a man before them Joseph who was sold as a slave they hurt his feet with fetters he was laid in iron until the time that his word came to pass the word of the lord tested him ah okay just these so i hope most of you have understood what we are reading he says he sent a man first he says in verse 16 moreover he called a famine in the land he destroyed all the provision of bread then he sent a man before them 
Joseph. So we're talking about Joseph. Anybody remember Joseph's story? Okay. If you don't, please start reading your Bible, sister, <laughs> brother. Please start reading it. Okay. He sent a man before them, Joseph, who was sold as a slave. They hurt his feet with fetters. He was laid in iron until the time that his word, not God's word, you can see there, his word came to pass. The word of the Lord tested him. Ah, this is the word of the Lord for you today. How many of you know that when God gives you a word, when God has spoken over your life, when God, when you got born again and you knew in your life that God has called you for something, how many of you know that you have that kind of word over your life? You know, you just know what God has called you for. You just know what God has called you. But I want you to see this. That same word is the word that is going to test you now. That same word that God gave you is the word that is going to test you. And why does that word come to test you? That word comes to test you. And in this example, he's talking about Joseph. So Joseph, basically, if you know the story, he gave a word. There was a butler and a baker. And you know Joseph's story, right? He was sold by his brothers into slavery. Then the guy went and he started working for an Egyptian. God blessed everything that Joseph, the Egyptian, he blessed everything of the Egyptian because of Joseph. Some of you, your bosses are blessed because of you. Your company is blessed because of you. Your company is not growing because they are profiting. It's because you are working for them. Shout Amen. You are so blessed. That's why God is blessing that place. It's because of you. The next time you get, they don't give you a raise. Say, don't worry, brother. We can go to another company and take our blessing. Amen. <laughs> And make sure the Lord tells you that. But remember this, Joseph was put, he, Potiphar got blessed and then they, they accused him of something that he didn't do and they threw him in jail. When he went in jail, everywhere if you read in that book, the Bible tells you one thing, God was with him. God was with him. At least five times it goes on saying, no matter what problem he went in his life, God was with him. That's point number one I want to tell you. In this 40 days, you are not alone. God is with you. That means no matter what bad thing happens to you, thank you Jesus, God is with you. But the word that this guy got, the baker and uh, the butler came in and he gave them a word. They had two dreams. He interpreted it. And he told them, when, you, when this word comes to pass, don't forget me. <laughs> Don't forget me because he wanted to come out of out of that jail so desperately. But do you know that word was what God gave him? And that word was the word that was testing Joseph. And you know what it was testing of his? His character. Ah, you can see pin drop silence now. <laughs> The word that God gave you over your life that you are trying now to accomplish. Do you know what you're doing? You're doing exactly what Joseph is doing. He's trying to make his way to get out of a problem. But God said, I'm going to make the stars bow down to you. And I'm going to make the sun and the moon bow down to you. But when you get a word like that over your life, guess what you try to do? You're looking and saying, look at my current condition. Do you know what my current condition is? I am, nobody even knows me. I'm sitting over here. I got a call on my life. And now you start trying making your own way. Do you know what is that? That is called character. Character is what you do, my simple definition, when nobody is looking. What are you doing when nobody is looking? Because the word that God gave you is also the word that is going to test you. It's going to test you to see whether you believe it to come to pass or are you going to start making your own way to bring it to pass? Ah, is anybody listening? Yeah? If you're making notes, make well. This is one of the problems many people stay 
in captivity because they are ready to make their own way if they don't see God making a way. I can hear Papa Abraham. God comes to him and gives him a promise. This year, I will visit you and you shall have a child. Do you know the next chapter? Somebody can put it. The next chapter, just next chapter, Papa Abraham goes and decides, I will make a way. Sarah gives him some good advice, you know. There is a surrogate mother. We can do it the natural way. You don't have to worry. God's promise takes very long. Now, look, it's taking very long. Probably it will come after we die. <laughs> but God said, in your own seed shall I make your name great. Through your own body I will remove something. But do you know what Papa Abraham did? He listened. And the very next chapter, he goes and gets Hagar and he gets Ishmael. And do you know till today, we are trying to save Ishmael. <laughs> because Ishmael is persecuting Isaac. Huh? But God is giving strength to Isaac now. Isaac is learning how to dig Papa's wells. <laughs> Isaac is learning how to dig his father's wells and he's going to grow. Huh? Because remember, the minute Hagar had a child, Abraham ran and said, please let him be under the blessing. God said, no problem, I'll bless him. But my covenant is with the promise I gave you. You can manufacture an Ishmael. You can go when God gave you a promise. You can go and get it on your own strength. You can start doing. Do you know how many people I know when God gives them a promise, they do not have the character to wait for God. They go and they start making their own way. Tough word. <laughs> do you know why God is giving you tough word today? Because he's saying, I want my children to have the character these 40 days. Because I'm going to do a fast, accelerated work in your life. Can you have the character to hold on these 40 days and take every instruction and hold it to your heart? Because God is going to birth a deliverer from you. Or will you get up and say, Lord, nobody is looking. I'll go back. Facebook, Instagram, I got all my crutches. I got all my... my, my if 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 i if i'm feeling low i'll call sister why i'll call brother why i'll talk no 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 40 days we are going to look at the face of god not his hand we are going to look at who the face not the hand that is character character doesn't look at the hand do you know people don't read hands they read faces <laughs> the problem is when you look at god's hand look at his face you'll come to know everything Look at his face. 2 Chronicles, I think, 7.14 says, If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves, turn away from their wickeds and seek my hand. Right? <laughs> Somebody saying, right. Seek my face, dear. It's not hand. It's seek my face. Then I will hear from heaven, will forgive their sin and heal their land. 2 Chronicles 7.14 say character because the word that God gave us on the first day is the same word that is going to come and test us now ah did you get it are you are you receiving child of God when we make our own way when we try to do things on our own we pay a very heavy cost do you know what a heavy cost Abraham must be sitting in heaven and crying every day why did I ever produce an Ishmael but God is ready to birth an Isaac and the Isaac will come as a result of a promise. It will not come because of, of, of earthly effort. It is going to come by a supernatural grace if you will have the character to wait. If you will say, God, step by step, I am not going to try to make my way. Do you know how many people I know? I have seen that when they want something and they want it very desperately, they'll do anything. They'll do anything to get, they'll call X, they'll call Y, you know, like, like brother Joseph, they'll say, please speak to so and so, no? You know, put in a good word. Do you know that brother, that butler? 
the baker died the butler lived but the butler the minute he got promoted intentionally forgot about joseph god has to do that so that man's man the arm of flesh that you so love it has to break your dependence on the arm of flesh has to break and you have to be dependent on the lord you know i heard the lord say this look at me it i heard the lord say it and i'm hearing him saying it again he's saying tell my children it is not you who want to go out it is the lord who wants to send you out but can the lord trust you that if he sends you you can come back or you'll never come back do you know i get so scared to send my son to buy anything for me because if i send him to buy all he has to do is go in the market and see one chocolate stall he'll forget what is in his hand he'll forget anything he'll be standing outside the shop entering the shop talking about the chocolate he'll forget everything dada told him say character character says lord if you don't want me to go if you don't open this door if you do not lead me i am not going i am not i wrote something here let me read it out to you is anybody being blessed we look for suggestions that people can offer to bring us what we desire the place you decide to occupy in your own strength is the place you will have to sustain with all your strength did you get that the place you decide to occupy in your own strength is a place you will have to sustain with all your strength the place that you allow god to bring to pass in your life is the place that you will flourish in the key is enjoy the journey <laughs> don't be worried god when listen if god gave a word then let god be the one who establishes it you need to be that daughter and son who says i'm going to enjoy the ride whether anyone likes me whether i get promoted whether people you know get upset with me i'm going to represent god accurately in this generation whether it is tough word whether it is good word whether it is not so good word do you know today many pastors change their word <laughs> because of the people in the church do you know in our church if we know a certain word you don't like we'll preach that for the whole month <laughs> same word we'll preach if we know that you like something we make sure we never give it to you because in our church we never entertain flesh how many of you know I'll give you a simple example. Do you have a friend? You have a friend? Ah, that friend has come and asked you for something that he really knows that you have. Yes? Is happened? You give him, right? He loves you, no? The next time he gives him, just say no, I'm not giving. <laughs> You'll start see new manifestations. The minute you say no, now you will see the real heart of that son you will see the real heart of that child how much they love you what stories they go and speak about you ah they say oh this this man of god no he doesn't understand how hard we are working what we are doing yeah 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 just say no and you'll come to know what's in their heart character 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 is god you put If I am right now in the jail, I'm going to praise you. Why? Because God is with you. Even the jail keeper started promoting Joseph. Did you see that? He put him. the 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 brothers sold him into slavery. Did he not? And yet, when he was sold, Egypt started prospering. Can I tell you? Until your brothers, your own brothers, reject you, God cannot accept you. you've not passed the test do you know jesus own brothers did not believe him if everybody loves you there is something wrong baba your name should be everybody loves raymond <laughs> there's a serial if everybody loves you there's a problem you need to start selling ice creams because then you want everybody to love you but if you want to be a lead 
to be a radical warrior for Jesus. If you are going to be righteous in this generation, mark my words, people will not like you. But there will be a lot of people who love you. Just like I'm seeing now, I'm very sure you all love me, right? Do you love me? Is the word biting? Uh-huh, it's supposed to, okay? So if it's biting, say thank you Jesus. It's it's not biting. Is it okay? They're saying no, it's not. Okay, don't worry, I'm giving you more. Nothing that is forced into labor will last. Everything that is birthed with grace will end you. You writing? Unless you abide in me and I in you, you will bear no fruit. Do you know for a plant to grow, the plant doesn't need to do disco dandia, doesn't need to do break dance. It just needs to be planted. It needs to be rooted. And the deeper its roots grow, you will start seeing fruit. You will start seeing green leaves. You will finally hit the river of God. And then when everybody's root is drying, when everybody's leaf is withering, when everybody's fruit is dropping, you shall have fruit that will endure. Then everybody will be looking at you. You know what is the problem with Christians? Can I tell you? The minute you get the gospel, you want to go and give it to the whole world. You want to teach everyone. How many of you have brothers and sisters who fight with you, get angry with you because you're trying to tell them about how you need to grow in Jesus, how you need to come up in Jesus. Sister, brother, first you grow, na? First you rise, na? First you shine. Look at Joseph what he did. He shone. Then his brothers came at his knees and they said, "Thoda humko bhi batao na kaisa kaisa." As long as you and brother are on the same platform, why should he listen to you? What fruit have you born? But you rise. You start living the word of God. You start bearing fruit. You start developing character when nobody is looking. The word of God is testing you. It is seeing what is really in your heart. These 40 days, remember, your pastor is not watching you. Your leaders are not watching you. But the Lord himself his eyes are upon you to see if there's anyone who understands the way he makes a person's name great please tell me your understanding this is a very critical word because god is going to god told me to give this word because it's going to be the determining factor for 40 days These 40 days will be a test of your character to see if you can hold on to the promise that God has given you at the start about what God is going to birth through you or are you going to be the person who is going to abort say no I will not abort God's dream I will not abort God's promise I am going to birth this time a deliverer shall come from within me the way God brings growth can i show you one more scripture one more scripture can i tell you there is a very important person in the bible a very important sister in the bible that sister worked on my life can i introduce you to her ha huh? that sister is a very important sister let me take you to james chapter 1 i'm sure you all all know her name I'm very sure you'll all know her name. La brose kadaya la manto. Zebrando kobo sheketere. Lord, I love you. James chapter 1, can somebody read? Zara kato. Yeah. From verse 1 then. Yes, verse 2 you can read. My brethren, count it all joy when you fail into when you fall into various trials hey you're sure you're reading the right bible james chapter 1 verse yes okay count it joy count count it what all joy <laughs> you're very sure joy you're supposed to be sad when you have trials you know mm okay read again probably is not reading properly i think my brethren 
count it all joy when you fall into various trials hmm. knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience ah and but the patience let, let but let patience have its perfect work that you may be perfect and complete lacking nothing ah my god let's welcome sister patience <laughs> this is the sister who works on all of us when the word of god comes to you that same word is going to test you and guess who is going to come on the scene sister patience sister patience you need to allow her to complete her full work because she is the one who makes you what perfect perfect lacking nothing how many of you want to serve god and have a need for everything do you know there are so many people if you tell if i ask you right now brother what you need you'll give me a long list but show me a man who has had allowed patience to work in his life that man he doesn't say lord i need all this now he's reached a point in his life where he says lord i lack nothing lead me <laughs> because he knows where god leads him that's the place of no lack but right now the place where you are is of many desires because patience has not worked it's work in you you have so many desires and don't worry i also was in that same company till i met sister patience sister patience never gives up she my god she is so naughty she just never she never gives up you do what you want she'll not leave you she'll just make sure that you become patient not a patient huh you will have patience <laughs> look at this other word roman chapter 5 perfect and complete can you have patience this 40 days or are you like pastor put your hand on me give me a prophetic word i'm showing you baba prophetic word over joseph and he was put in jail after that after that he was accused of another of rape charges after that he was thrown into jail again but the word tested him and that word made him now stand before a king and become the entire governor of the land look at romans chapter 5 milen okay i love That's this chapter you know it starts with if you read four verse ending it says he was delivered over to death for our sins but raised to life for our justification therefore since we have peace with god therefore since we are justified by faith we have peace with god through our lord jesus christ through whom we have gained access into this grace in which we now stand and we rejoice in the hope of glory not only so we rejoice in sam what we rejoice in tribulations right tribulations because we know that tribulations produce what sister patience perseverance and sister patience produces what character ah and what does character produce hope and what does hope does not disappoint us because god has poured out his holy spirit in our hearts i want you to see something if you are an impatient person it's probably there is no character because tribulations produce what perseverance perseverance character and character hope so god is not the author who brings trials and tribulations in your life no but he's saying that when you follow me life is not going to be easy but i guarantee if you stay with the word you're going to have good success because god is going to be with you in all your problems do you know before when when the lord started work on my life i wanted immediate results huh never follow a man of god who tells you ah today i put hand on you tomorrow you start preaching <laughs> because following god is not a 100 meter dash it's a 10 kilometer marathon 
and everything god starts he starts with a seed and if you know there's no big seed <laughs> there is all small seed if i'm looking at you today you are you are the smallest seed but look at you today you're the most amazing god blessed person who is going to shake your nation for jesus so will you have character will you hold on to character what is the definition of character what you do when no one is looking how you pray how you plan your day what are your thoughts what are your motives why do you serve in church why do you give why do you pray character do you only serve when people are looking do you run to defend yourself when people say things about you or will you allow the word to test you and prove you if you look at psalm 105 look because the word says in psalm 19 until that time that this word came to pass the word of the lord tested him that means until that word came to pass his word because now the word that god gave him became his word do you know every time i preach to you that word becomes my word that's why men of god should never preach what they have not been tested in <laughs> because it will come to test you <laughs> i know so many people who have fallen because they preached a word from google which they never lived and then they died because that same word that you preach now will come for you any preachers <laughs> we thank god for our pastors amen they are not people from google they are people who move by the spirit of god amen we have given up google days now we hear god we hear god and we say god we are in love with you we love you we love you look at this verse 20 the king sent and released him the ruler of the people let him go free they he made him lord of his house ruler of all his possessions to bind his princes at his pleasure and teach his elders wisdom this is what happens when you have the character to sustain 40 days and allow god to birth his seed within you Now God says because son you have been faithful in two people in three people ah we listen i have preached i've started preaching with two people in front of me huh? i only used to lead worship i only used to preach and i only used to take offering <laughs> my sons are laughing they know they know their dad their dad can do anything and everything but when we did it Was our heart looking oh I want big numbers or was our heart god I love these two people who you sent these two are I'm going to preach like they are 200 nations <laughs> that means when I study the word and come I don't look at whether two people are there three I study the word not because I have to preach I tell my church I don't study the word to preach to you I study the word because I love Jesus And the reason you get fed is because he loves me so much that he gives a word to feed you and he loves you too. But we never study the word to preach to one another. We study the word because we love Jesus. We study the word. We pray. We worship. We do things for God. We give because we know he's a good God who will give back. I hope you're blessed today. I hope this word will give you the strength remember what i told you when the word of god comes you already have the grace that means this word is come god is working on your character so be patient child of god wherever whatever stage you are remember god is with you your elevation is awaiting you but make sure you're working on your character make sure you're doing all the things for the right reasons make sure that when god looks from heaven he sees someone who understands him and he doesn't just find a person shouting and screaming and then saying lord give me ah uh, this is the end of give me brother and give me sister this is the day of saying dada i am here i take my watch and i throw it 
until you touch me i'm going to worship you with all my heart amen god bless you god bless you god bless you please invite a friend if you have someone and you know go on youtube when this word comes leave a comment be intentional let me know how this word touched you because remember there's a scripture that great was the company of those who published the word that means when you are intentional god even looks at that there's another word in galatians he says whatever you've learned share with your teacher so that you'll receive more so whenever we learn whenever i receive anything from my father i run and i tell him how blessed i am because that's the way we grow what we celebrate multiplies what we ignore even that what we got will go god bless you i see you tomorrow keep the fire